Valley of Tears, the Israeli TV show everyone is raving about, has been making headlines for several reasons, including for the fact that it's been acquired by HBO, the latest in a handful of Israeli productions bought out by big international distributors. The series, directed by Aaron Zilberman and based on the Yom Kippur War of 1973, is already airing in Israel. The show features some of the country's biggest names on big and small screens. And here to talk to us today is the show's breakout star, Shachar Tavoch. Before we get to him, we're going to watch a short clip from the show. Take a look. And we can't take stuff with us. It's one. It's one. All right, let's welcome Shachar. Thank you so much for coming Thank in today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much. So, wow, what an intense scene. Tell me about yeah. what it was like filming that. Um, like, this specific scene, I remember that day, like, perfectly. We went through all the, all the base, like, from the, like, there's, like, floors. So we went, like, from the first floor to the, like, to the first, like, the minus four floor. Like, we just went and went and went going, kept, kept, kept going and kept going, like, and, and, and they shot it, like, every frame and everything. It was, like... I think it was like an entire day, just wow. those scenes. And the tunnels that you filmed this in, are they like authentic some tunnels them, or is yeah. it a set? Yeah, yeah. How does it work? Okay, so some of them, yeah, but like some of them, uh, all the, the people in the production like did a really huge research about everything. Like it was like 10 years of research. Wow. Yeah, from like the writing, the strip, and then like after that, you know, the, they wrote the script, uh, they had like to go to every base and like to collect stuff from, the, from you know, the places. Some of the places they see, they, they hear, some of the places you see here are like are authentic, but some of them like um, recreated. It for looks the show. really authentic. Thank you. Well, you know, obviously you're an Israeli. You must have some connection to this war. You know, maybe uh, people in your family that you're related yeah. to fought in this war. So tell me, how did you connect to this role? Was it really easy or was it really challenging? Mm, okay, so like my my grandfather, he he fought in the war, but like not in the south. This Ricky was like in the in the north. So um, I like heard a lot of stories that like that he told me like stories, um, but like most of my information, I really discovered from you know like from the additions and from like you know I had like after I got in like to the role I had to do like a big research. I'm sure. And I'm a big nerd, <laughs> so I liked it. Like I really enjoyed every so you part. You can of relate it. to your character of in the show. Of course, like we're the same person. <laughs> like it was really like to put me like it's for like you, how do you say that like in, goosebumps. Yeah, I just, like every second. Amazing. Like, yeah. And, you know, tell me about the moment that you found out that you were going to be, you know, this show was going to air on HBO to the entire world. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, oh, wow. Um, at first, like, I didn't know that. Like, when I got to the audition, I, heard, like, I remember they told me, like, it's the biggest production in Israel. Like, every, like they had the, the most expensive budget, and, you know, it's, like, amazing. And then I said, oh, my God, okay, I'm very excited. But, but you didn't know at that point that it was going no, to HBO. No, never. Right. And then, like, after the show was, like, um, going to be aired, like, I think, like, a week before it was going to be aired, I had, like, um, they called us, like, to meet together to, a, to an interview, and then after the interview, Yaron, the, the director, he told me, Shachar, don't panic. It's going to be on HBO Max. And I said, wait, what? Did I pass what? out? <laughs> and almost, like, my character, but no. I just really, I, like, screamed. I remember that day, like, I, I wrote Ron, the amazing writer. I, I wrote him, like, a, a letter on email, and I said, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I can't breathe. It was wow. like, really exciting. It's yeah. really amazing. Yeah. So, you know, the whole country is watching this show. You must walk down the street and have every single person recognize <laughs> your face. What is that like? Okay, so I'm a very neurotic person, and I would, like, I, I, I'm very, like, um, afraid from the coronavirus. So I, I, like, almost... As everyone should be. Of course. Yes. Yes. Safety first. So. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, I'm home all the time. So like most of my um, connection with the audience is from like messages on Instagram, Facebook, and I get a lot of them like, uh, even from the youngest generation, like the young generation are, are amazing, everyone. Like I get like um, messages, they said, thank you so much. Like I now learn uh, new things about the country, about our country. And I, I, I asked my grandfather and grandmother, what is it like to be in the army and to serve? And it's amazing that the old generation gets an opportunity to talk with Absolutely. the young generation. Absolutely. Um, and when is this show going to be available on HBO streaming services? Today. Today. It's going to be today. Wow. I'm so excited. Good yeah. timing. Yeah, amazing timing. So how do you expect, you know, the international audience to respond to this kind of story? That so far, you know, has only been 
told in Israel that show yes. specifically, obviously. Yes, I know that like some of them doesn't know what is like the Yom Kippur War that is like the hugest scar in our history here in Israel. But um, I think for them, like more than just a war story, it's like a story that it's not like it, I know I, you can enjoy it even though you're not Jewish, even though you're not like from Israel, because in every country in the U.S. they have like an army. Therefore, you need to learn about the, what your soldiers are going through. Like every day for you, when you sit at home, your soldiers like risk their, their life. And to knowledge what they're going through, even just a little bit from the stories here, it's amazing. And I have to ask, what about Snowbar? Your little pet. My beloved Snowbar. Do you I get miss. to keep him? Is he yours? Okay, so I, we can't adopt like hedgehogs. It's, okay. not, it's not legal. So uh, I visit him. I now, I now like texted the, the, the farm that's like, you know, has Snowbar and he's alive wow. and he's healthy and he's no amazing. Way. So um, I now texted him and... Is that his real name? Snowbar? Sno we, we named him. You named him. It was like, he was tiny. So we named him when he was a little boy. Wonderful. <laughs> and uh, we have a strong connection. And I think like the most important thing that you can see from their connection, Avinam and Snowbar, that you can see how much love Avinam has to give. Like in the first episode, Avinam, uh, the nerdy ca ca character that I am, is like, um, a lot of soldiers may see him as an annoying person, but he's not. You can see from like the, the connection between him and his jacket, how much love he has to give. And, and without giving any yeah. spoilers, he turns out to be, you know, the smartest one out of all of them. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> thank you. Anyways, Shachar, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I had so and much everybody fun. can go to HBO Max to check out uh, Valley of Tears. Take a look, everyone. Thank you so much.